time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, last trading day of September, September 30th on a Monday. S&P down six, NASDAQ down almost 60. Russell pretty unchanged down two, Dow down 175, gold down about a half percent, silver down 1.3. Notes and bonds red, 10-year yield up 1.3. Oil flat, natty gas up a little bit. Soybeans, red, corn, green, wheat, green, euro in the pound, a little bit green, Bitcoin down 3.7. VIX hanging out just under 17, slightly green compared to Friday's close. j Powell hit the mic and did what j Powell does. A little V in the market. A little dip down to the 5705-ish area and then right back up to pretty much where we started. Uh, I did, uh, let's see, calendar-wise, I closed out my 35363745, all book nice profits. Put on a 1-2 and a 1-4 and a 3-4. My 3-4 and 1-2 are a little bit underwater. My 1-4 is pretty much where I put it on. Still got a 4.7. It was almost at 20%. I was trying to take half off. It's only up about 10% now after that move. My 5.7 and 6.7 are still slightly green. Uh, I closed out my, I posted, I closed out my BIX uh, right before j Powell, which ended up being a good move. Um, and so I did put on another one here a little bit ago and got stopped on the call side. So still holding my put side on that one. Uh, getting ready to enter one more tranche. Did a 1DTE. Uh, did five lots. Um, three of them I transformed into an upside vertical for tomorrow. I've still got two on. And that's looking pretty centered. In fact, let's see. I've got my, got my profit target at six bucks. It's trading at about seven. So let's see. I think that is about it. Just put on a Wooga, just posted. And I plan to do the last day of the month trade towards the end of the day. So that's about it. Chad, how's your day? Looks like you're on mute, Chad. Yeah, I just got filled on 20% of my power hour number two. So my number one got stopped pretty quickly on that up move. Um, one DTE. Uh, as it bounced back here, I closed it out for a really nice profit. Nice 110 wide one DTE. Looked a little over 2K on that one. Um, my AM number one um, booked 20, 40, 60 and out. And then end up closing uh, my puts on that one for a buck twenty. So really nice, bigger winner than normal on that one. My lunchtime number one got stopped out pretty quickly when I put it on, and then the puts became really valuable and got rid of them at five dollars and sixty cents. I, I thought about getting rid of half of them, um, but then I was like, well. I mean, 560, that's going to put me back in the green for this trade. And it was ended up being really quick. And I do remember a lot of times JP, he'll he'll send it in one direction, but then it'll just return at some point. 
so, and then got stopped on my power hour trade. So that's going to be a, a full loss on my number one. Like I said, I just got out of number, number two. I got a 20%. So that's where I'm at right now. And uh, no Wugas for me today. I've also got a bug out about 15 minutes early. Uh, Stone plays in Chillicothe. Five o'clock. So about an hour and a half away. So hoping this, hoping this power hour number two can be a profitable trade here. It needs a little down move, though. <laughs> And it, there's two dollars or four dollars strikes right now. I was going to put one more on on the call side, but I'm going to let it balance out a little bit before I put another big tranche on. Oh, uh, and an update from last Friday. Lo logged on today in my small account, and I am not a pattern day trader. They gave you an exception or they just uh miscounted. I didn't even contact anybody. It just it just, just said reset. I'd made yeah, it just said I'd made three trades and I just can't make one today. Um there was actually I actually had delayed data. And so I contacted them about that. And apparently there there was like new uh what they call it? Uh I had to go into Schwab.com, the web based, and accept like some new updates or something. And so, so that was the only difference. Now it's back to real time data, and yeah. So, rock on. My one, yeah, my one day will. I'll get one back tomorrow. So one, one will drop off tomorrow. That was good news. So you just entered one on the twenty five thirty five strikes. But uh, yeah, Wuga, as Wuga mentioned, I will be taking my Wuga off before it's time for the uh, last day of the month trade. I don't think it really makes sense to have both of those on since they're kind of opposite of each other. So tomorrow, 30 minutes after the market opens, we've got ISM and Jolts. Wednesday, pre-market, ADP, non-farm, employment change. And then we've got one, two, three, four Fed speakers. Thursday, pre-market, unemployment claims. 30 minutes after the market opens, ISM services and one Fed speaker. And then Friday, we've got some pre-market employment data and one Fed speaker. I am going to uh, I am going to do Fisch's version of the last day of the month. <clears throat> I liked it a little bit better than mine. It's basically a Rick. Just posted that.
And get a little down move now. And stopped on my put side of the one I just put on. So now I've got a call side and a put side left. Power hour right Hopefully. back to center. Hopefully those can stay between 35 and 95. Had a little slippage on that one. Mm. Buck 30 a slippage on that one in my IB account. Better get my Wooga on my screen over here. So let's see, I did the... Thirty-five, forty-fives, and the twenty tens filled at four forty. Wuga is currently up about So I had considered doing the one three and a two four double calendar also, but I'm just going to stick with my one two one four and three four that I've already entered after this little move we've seen. Had an order to close half my four seven. It was trading right around 19-ish percent. Didn't quite hit before that drop. And even though we got almost back to where we were, it's never got quite back to the PL I had. Still up, still up nicely, but not quite where it was. What that the Wooga? Was that the Wooga? I'm not sure what you're referring to, Chessmaster. No, Wooga has no stop. <clears throat> that was just a big, big tranche. Mm. 
my one DTE might hit 45%. Actually, I got filled at 1190, which would be 655. I've got, I put my profit target in at six. So I've got my profit target closer to 50%, but <clears throat> I'll close that out as we get closer to the end of the day. So DRB, the one I just posted, that was the one Fee shared that I liked a little better. The one that I shared was this one. At the Money Butterfly is currently trading for about 60, 65 cents. Uh, it's a good pass on the early Wooga today, looks like. I'm going to put that on the run right here, right at the bottom. At least as of right now. Just did not think it was wise as we were accelerating to the downside. Need 40 cents to get it out of 40% of my power hour number two. That would guarantee me a green day here after I take took that power hour loss. Same strikes. That's interesting, Elliot. Because <clears throat> market was... Market was 20 points lower. Maybe 15 points lower.
Yeah, different different than mine, but MNS, but he was saying his strikes are the same for both his early one and his late one. I was just looking, eyeballing the chart, looking that we had about a 15 to 20 point difference in those times, but all good. Dix hit a high of 17.79. SPX came within about seven points of its lower expected move, but not too close to either the upper or lower. SPX hovering and NDX hovering right under Friday's lows. Took a couple of stop hunters in uh, day trading today. Tiny profits in both. One was Boeing. We had flushed a couple different lows and then bounced back up. Kind of started chopping here, got in, took partial profits there. And then when we started trailing back down, I just, I figured we'd chop until Powell spoke. So I just got out for small profit and then crowd strike. So WD. Flushed uh, Friday's lows, bounced up, same thing, took partial profits on that first bounce, and then we just got into chop mode, so I cut the rest.
I manually enter the um, the expected move every morning, but the previous day open high low close that's automatic. It's in the day trading course. There's a there's a toss indicator that you can upload. See if I can share it with you here. It should work, Chessmaster. Man, that little, got in right before that little flush that took me out of my foot side of my bick, but this thing's sure has settled down now for the last 20 minutes. Wooga, nice and centered, up about 23%. Thirty butterfly trading for about maybe a dollar eighty five cents. Don't think we're going to get in before MOC to Mahomes today.
Wuga is still pretty centered, but looks like they're kind of pumping some juice in a little bit. Was up 25%. Now it's only up 15. Yeah, I was about 40 cents away from hitting 40%. Now I'm twenty. Yeah, they're they're pumping some premium in. Yeah, sitting on 30, but the 30 butterflies are getting cheaper. We need price to stay below 35 to avoid a double stop on one of my BIX.
Wuga's got about 20 minutes to make some money. Uh, Elliot, I haven't had any issues with my Bix or my one DTE. All right, there's a little theta release. Back down to within 50 cents. My 1DTE is nice and centered. Getting close to 45%. Need about another 60 cents. Yeah, they are definitely holding back some premium all of a sudden, last 20 minutes. Yeah, for sure. Well, the chief squeaked out another close one. Yeah. Big, big day tomorrow too. Can't wait.
What's tomorrow? Royals. Oh, yeah. Game one, 308. Eight yep. minutes after we get off here. Chiefs are definitely not dominating anyone, but for now. I, I love the I love the refs helped them out. <laughs> I love that man. It's like it's like uh, the politics where the internet says it happens, so you got to believe it. Believe that's the way it is. I can't I can't think of a call that went in our favor yesterday. All about how you feel. That's what. That's what everybody nowadays is. If you feel like it happened, then it happened. There's some facts for you. On to PMTN. Chiefs are the fifth most penalized team in the NFL in the Mahomes era. <laughs> Third most penalty yards since Mahomes has been quarterback. But they get all the calls somehow. And that's because that's what the social media says, so it has to be true. <laughs> yeah, I need a little down move now. Yep. Got about 10 minutes till I got to hit the road. So I was kind of hoping to be 60 and out by then. My 1DTE is not giving up any more juice. Yeah, I started noticing that with mine too, actually. I'm going to give it till right before MOC. Wuga still hanging out at 20%. Yeah, I remember I didn't do Wuga because I wouldn't be here to close it. And also, I remember I had a bad Wuga last month of last day of the last trading day of August. Definitely not letting mine go to the bell today, but hopefully it can squeeze a little bit out. Yeah, and and I don't I don't ha I don't have uh, another another actual trade where I can close it until tomorrow, so I would have had to let it go to the bell if I was going to place it, and I wasn't going to do that today. I'll be right back.
22 minutes till the bell. Thirty-five butterfly trading for a little over a buck. Yeah, I might just have to close mine out here. So I gotta get the road. Gotta stop at Liberty North. Get Big Brother. I would really like to stay under thirty-five here, kids. And it's pushing above 36, 37. Yeah, I'm going to get stopped now. Yep, stopped with slippage. Wow. She just got out of it. Had a double stop on my back. It's no good. And about a dollar ten of slippage on that. I had forty cents. Twenty minutes to go. Ten minutes till MOC. Eight minutes till end of the month trade. So last day of the month in, in uh, August, Power Hour was a big loser for me. And same thing today. Uh, Chess Master, scroll up. I posted a couple different variations since we've been on here. My four sevens back up 12%. My one, two, and my three, four are still a little bit underwater. SPX is trying to go green. ELC results for September plus $33,285. Another 9,830 in one DTE. A little over 43K. Oh, that was definitely a holding penalty on top of the mountain. Doesn't matter if the ref throws the flag late. If it's a penalty, it's a penalty. The thing is, uh, up for mountain is I could show you so many of those where Chris Jones gets held that doesn't get called. So again, that's 
that's just how the internet tries to influence people to think a certain way. It's the same thing with politics. I mean, I, I don't, I don't have the need to show everyone like some people, but there are a lot of times the chiefs don't get calls when they should be holdings, things like that. All right, I will see everybody tomorrow. I am off to a football game. Cheers. It's in between strikes, but the 40 butterfly trading for under a buck. Supposed to wait until after MOC to make this move, SPX. Somebody forgot to tell you. Somebody forgot to give SPX the memo on timing. This went green, creeping towards highs of day. Supposed to wait till we got our last day of the month trade on as well. New highs of day. All right, so I'm going to go forty twenty. Fifty. And I got to do this seventy five. Where are you going? I got to get filled. Mm. 
Mm, it's running away from me. All right, got it on. Need to get out of my one DTE. One minute till MOC. I went ahead and closed my Wooga out. Two point seven billion buy side. All right. Let's see how we not close to getting filled on my homes yet. Butterflies are staying cheap with this move. This is what we're looking for after the entry. right up to the expected move. Twenty points away from all time highs. Well, last day of the month didn't disappoint, just came too early.
55 butterfly still only trading for about a buck with almost six, a little over six minutes to go. Working the 55s and 60s. Five, seven, six, seven, back up 10%. Four sevens up 17%. My one, two, and three, four, still a little bit underwater. Working a 65. Three minutes to go. The 60 looks like it might be close to filling if we could pull back a little bit. Sixty five looks close to filling. Two minutes. Canceling my fifty fives. to move. Uh, 
Uh, Dev D, I just let mine expire. Coming up on one minute, we're right in between strikes. I'm going to start looking to cancel if we get inside 30 seconds. Oh, filling on the 65s. I'm going to cancel my bot. Oh, too late. All right, let's get below 60. There we go, locked. And there's the bell settling in at 62.39. So winner, winner for Mahomes, my end of month. Looks like a scratch. Yeah, scratch. Maybe made a couple hundy. Mahomes for the W. And my bot Mahomes is on the 65s. It's going to be a maybe a maybe went tiny inside on that close, so maybe a small loser on my bot. Oh, it only filled one lot. One of five filled. But my main one hit 20. 2K. All right, all. Everybody have a good evening. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow is the first day of October. Chad will be streaming live at the Market Open for Mighty 90 and Runners. And then we'll be back for Power Hour. Have a good night. Take care.